Do you remember when DJI released the Air Unit 03, which brought the canvas mode, which is not really a canvas mode, but the MSP display port support, exactly the same thing that WTF OS offers for a few months already. But it then turned out that this MSP display port is not compatible with iNav for whatever reason it is. DJI, like always, decided we will make this thing work only with Betaflight and basically ignore everybody else. I even recorded a rant on this topic. Luckily, iNav 6 will fix that. But how, you might ask? Well, very simple. One of the developers decided to implement the Betaflight compatibility mode into iNav MSP DisplayPort implementation. With the next release of iNav, you will be able to select the OSD type as beta flight compatibility and then iNav will pretend that it's beta flight. It will limit the fonts used, it will limit the functionality, but as a gain you will be able to see the OSD inside your FPV goggles and the Air Units O3. Bear in mind, not everything will work. Betaflight MSP DisplayPort implementation is much less advanced than the iNav ones. In general, the whole OSD inside of the Betaflight is less advanced on the iNav. And that means that if you will enforce the Betaflight compatibility mode in the iNav 6 or later versions, not every element on the OSD will work. And every time you will want to display an element that is not officially supported by the Betaflight and the DJI implementation of the MSP display port, there will be just a question mark instead of the character. Better than nothing. Right? On the other hand, the WTF OS had absolutely not a single problem to properly implement the MSP display port, including the INAF specific fonts. Because if you want to do something, you will do it. But if you don't care, then well, what else can I say? Now, here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!